Hi, this is Joop from GitLab.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to effectively work with GitLab using Git issues and merge requests. So this is my project, Rough Life. It's a blog for dog fanatics. I created two issues and I want to start working on one of them. In this case, let's start by working on the readme. What I want to do is I want to make the change. I want to remove the cats from the readme and I want to have my colleagues check it and comment if necessary. So let's start by making the change, saving it. And now what I want to do is I want to put my changes not in the main repository, but on a branch of it. That way I can create a merge request and have my colleagues look at it. So we start by doing git checkout dash b for a new branch. And let's give it a name no cat. Now I want to add my changes to the branch, git add, I can check it, and now I want to commit this. So we say git commit dash m for the message, remove cat, and because I made an issue out of it already in GitLab, here you see the issue, I can reference the issue, and in fact I can close the issue with my commit message. So we go to the terminal, we say remove cat fixes issue number one. Good. Now what we want to do is push this branch to GitLab. No cat. And there we go. And if we go back here, you see that we pushed a new branch and then GitLab immediately suggests to create a new merge request. So that's what we will do. Here we see the merge request going from the branch no cat merging to master. And here you see the last commits on each of these branches. Remove cat. And I want to assign it to Jacob. In this case, Jacob will be responsible for merging the branch. But other people could do it as well. In fact, Jacob is a really busy person, so I might want to say to Seedsa to also have a look. So I could say, for instance, um, CC Seedsa. Can you have a look as well? There we go. Now, if I submit it, Jacob and Seedsa will be notified of my merge request. So let's do that. There we have the merge request. You see here my description, my mention of Seedsa. The fact that it's assigned to Jacob and I can change that. But we can also see that by accepting this merge request, it will close to issue number one. Now, what I did is I integrated GitLab CI, meaning that GitLab CI will run the tests. And what we see is that the tests for, for my changes fail, meaning not all my tests pass. I can have a look at the build page, but in this case, I'm already pretty sure what go is going on because I saw earlier that there was an issue. Let's have a look. There we go. There's a failing test for post.rb and it's something about the setup of the test. So let's try to make a change. We go back to our code. Ah, and here we see get has to be false, of course. We save it and we add it and commit it to the same branch. Git commit m fix test. And we push the branch again. Git push origin where GitLab is. No cat, the name of the branch. There we go. If you go back to the merge request, we see that my commit was added. It will close issue number one. And in the meantime, the CI is running my tests. Now, of course, Sietze and Jacob are not here. But if they were here and they would look at it, they could, for instance, say something about the code in the discussion. They could make a comment on a line by line basis, for instance, but I like cats. And I would be notified of these comments. I could then easily change them and look back. In fact, I can even reply to inline comments. 
What they can also do is they can say this is good or this is bad. That way, if you, for instance, CC multiple people, you can see that if you have a lot of good feedback, it's ready to be merged without the actual assign me, assignee having to look at it. There's a whole system for that, which goes with thumbs up and thumbs down. For instance, if you give a thumbs up, and you add the comment, you see that here on top, you, you have a tally of the total up and down. And here you see the same thing. Now, let's refresh and see how the CI build is going. Ha, ah, there we go. We fixed the test and the CI build now passed. So, you know that this merge request will close issue number one. But as we saw, issue number two referenced the fact that the test was failing. And because we see that now the CI build passed, we can comfortably say that it will pass. So we also fixed that one. So what we can do is we can change the commit message of this merge, or in this case, we'll just append to it. And we can say fixes issue, ah, there we go, two. Okay, I guess it's ready for merge. Let's say that we want to remove the source branch for merging because we don't want to keep all the branches in the repository and accept it. And it's merged. Very good. Now if we go back here, we see that we've merged it and that the two issues are closed. In fact, we can see it here, closed. And we can go to the issue. And you see that there automatically is a comment saying status change to closed by this commit, which is now because it's merged into master, a commit, a commit in master, as you can see here. Very good. Ah, and now the build of master also succeeded. So this way you can see that working with merger requests and issues, you can have a very powerful Git workflow within GitLab. Thank you for watching.